Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And uh, if you don't know me yet, I'm Chelsea Lynn and I am giving you YouTube videos in the beauty world every Wednesday. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I decided I would give you guys a Valentine's Day look. Obviously, do not go for my hair look because I just deep conditioned it today and I didn't feel like really heat styling it. That just seemed to um kind of defeat the purpose of deep conditioning it, so I decided to go with my natural hair. That was really weird, I apologize. Wanted to show you guys my, my eye look that I did for you guys today. And it is using the Urban Decay Naked One palette. I'm pretty sure there's a million tutorials for this out on YouTube, but you know what? It is an awesome palette. I love the fact that they are all neutral and more bronzy based because I am a neutral color individual. But, yeah. So as you can tell, I've moved away from my desk and I'm now by my window because it has more natural light and I want you guys to be able to see everything and we're now up close and personal, but that's okay. So the first step that I like to do is I prime my eyes and the ones that I'm using, it's so dirty, it's ridiculously dirty, I don't know why, but it's gross. But I like to use the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, this works really well if you have oily eyelids. I don't, but I still find that it works relatively well. So I'll just apply a little bit to my eyes and then use my ring finger to distribute. And I'll put a little bit of that underneath because why not? So I'm going to be using my Naked One palette today because... I feel like everyone and their brother owns this, so why not do it? Because then anybody can do this look if they want to. What I'm first going to start off with is my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, which is my E40 brush, which is my favorite. And I'm going to go in with uh, the third one from the left in the palette, which is Naked. And I'm going to go in and apply that to my crease as a transition color. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions to distribute that to my crease. And I see my neighbors. Hello, neighbors. So after I have applied naked into my crease, I am going to go in with the brush that came within the palette. And it is just the Urban Decay Shadow brush. I'm going to go in with Sin. Sin is the light pink color, that second from the left. It's probably my favorite color. And with this, I do not use sweeping motions. I apply it in tapping motions because it prevents fallout. So that is, since it is a really glittery color. But I'm just going to tap that on to maybe one more coat of that because I want it to be a nice pigment of p pink on my lid. I almost said purple, but whatever. We're good. See, right now you can see the line between the two. That's okay, we will blend. Then, like I said, go in and blend the two together. And then I will come in with my Sigma pencil brush, which is the E30 brush, and I will just grab um, some Buck, which is the other matte shade in the palette. So I will grab some of that on my pencil brush and just, I'd like to make a triangle shape going from my lash line to my crease. This just kind of deepens the look. The next step that I do is I take that same pencil brush and I will go in with Smog, which is a darker shimmery color within the palette, right here. I will go in with that in the same outer corner, just so we can get like a smoky effect going. We will also take a little bit of Smog and just run it on my bottom lash line. Again, I will go in with my Urban Decay Shadow Brush and grab some more Sin just to lighten up the color because once you blend it, it does kind of lose some of its pigmentation. And then I 
I will grab my, this is seriously my favorite brush. It is the E40 and I'm just gonna grab some Naked again and just blend all that out. Cool, that's what we're gonna do from the Naked palette. And it's a very natural look, but my favorite part about it is it, you can build it up to be more dramatic with black eyeliner or eyelashes or something that will make it bow. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my small angle brush from Sigma, which is an E65, and my NYX gel liner, and this is brown. Yeah, so I'm just gonna grab some of this on an angle brush and press it into my lash line. You could definitely do a winged eyeliner look with this, but I just want it to be nice and simple for like a daytime Valentine's Day look. So I'm just going to apply that and keep it a relatively thin line. And then the hardest part of me doing my makeup is always tight lining. I have the hardest time doing this, but I'm going to go in with NARS in Via Veneto. I'm going to go back into my Naked palette and I'm going to grab my Sigma Medium Angled Shading, which is the E70 brush, and it's I like this to put a uh, color on my brow bone because of its angle. So I'm just going to take the tip of this and put it into Virgin, which is the lightest color in the palette, and just use that to highlight my brow bone. Next step I like to do is just curl my lashes and get it as close to the base as possible. And then I like to really make sure it Curling all the way to the ends. Yes. Nice. Nicely curled. So the next step that I'm going to do is grab my mascara and I'm just going to grab my Maybelline the Rocket mascara, which I have the waterproof version. And I'm just going to apply my mascara. So the next step in this is to set your eyebrows and I just use Maybelline's Great Lash uh, Clear Transparent Mascara and it's really, really gross. Can you see how gross that is? It's like a cloud of pigment. Ugh. I think it just spit on my camera, but whatever. So yeah, I just brush through my brows to set them because nobody wants their brows moving. Don't want to party so hard your brows fall off. I'm pretty sure that was on a commercial for some, some TV show. And I was like, God, you are not using the right product if you are partying your eyebrows off. So I, I recommend setting your makeup for a, bit, a special date like this. And I'm just going to use my MAC Fix Plus to set my makeup. Ooh. Boom. Thank you for watching my video, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please leave a comment down below what you liked about it, or if there are any other inspiration or ideas you would like me to do for another video, because I post a video every Wednesday, and this is where I tell you to subscribe, because I post a video once a week, and will be posting once a week until April, when I will start posting twice a week, so please be on the lookout for that, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook the links and descriptions and everything and the products that I use will be down below and thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye! Excited to show you what I've been loving for the month of January. It's kind of crazy to think that January is literally so close to being over and that February is rolling right around the corner. I got this for my birthday in the middle of December and it is the Naked 